Hello. So I was looking at Reddit. And I saw this post. Any clue on this rock? No. No information on where it's from. But it captivated me. Large boulders. Like over here, these lines, they're, they're pretty parallel, I'd say, coming across here, and then below. It's real interesting, they go below, below, and then this seems to, it's a like, so I, I, st I literally put it into Google image search, and interestingly, all that came up is shells. This does not look like a shell. It looks like a spool of yarn. It really does. So I Google search like or a yarn. A ball of yarn. Some kind of or a mummy. <laughs> like something that, like that that's like wrapped. And it made me uh, I started looking around at, like, lava flows. It's hard to... I don't know what. It's hard to find... the ones that, it, like, have threads. Like, sometimes they'll have these threads. <clears throat> I was just trying to envision in my head. Is it possible for there to be, like, a continuous stretch? like string of threads that as they are fed they rotate but are like then brought back around fed rotate and it's just kind of like grows a rock that way is that possible That's kind of what I was thinking about, and I was like, well, this reminds me of shallograms. Like these lines. These lines, so there's lines this way, there's lines this way. And so I went over to the Rudraksh Guru website where all the cool shallograms I've shown mostly, pardon me, other people whose shallograms I've shown who are not here to see maybe if there was a good representation of one like so I these are new ones I haven't looked at so like it's not very visible here. I was hoping to find some that really showed. Like, we can kind of see it a little bit up here. To compare it to. And see if it was worth sharing with the person in case they cared. I don't know. <laughs> not that. Let's check out these new shallograms, though. That's why I hit record. I was like... New shallograms. Oh, sweet. <laughs> so this one has this way and this way. That's real interesting because this one goes all the way over here. Let me go back to one. It goes all the way over here and around. And this one...
I'm just wondering if there's structure on the bottom that is indicative that this system influenced the bottom because if it's a if it's a fossil like it would basically be like here's a fossil and then here's like a chunk that is on top of the other fossil that's just conjoined and that's just happenstance but then that chunk being on top wouldn't like it wouldn't influence the other side of the fossil if of this shell if this was a shell that was just like atop another shell and it was just hanging out and then it fossilized and it fossilized with this straight line straight line I'm just wondering if this like wraps back and points kind of towards the chakra. This is where. Hard to pinpoint where that is. You can see those lines there pretty good. Okay. How was it? These two? I don't think I, cl I didn't click this one. Okay. This is interesting. It looks like waves. Like a ocean waves kind of waves. Like the way it comes to sharp points. Sharp point, sharp point, sharp point. And then at the top of this point is this, oh, it reminds me. <clears throat> I was watching in the last video, the Florida Keys. Uh, I was talking about Dutch Cincy, Dutch and Z's interpretation of earthquakes, which I thought was pretty was sound of a... Uh, where he showed like a water pole that compressed in, into like a circle, just bloop, <laughs> like an upward drop. And it made me think like, what if in that water was a huge like system in, the, in that lava, in that like molten material that is like sloshing around beneath the surface is being moved to some like ejection point some like sphere that then like gets emitted on this jet that's just like bloop and push it like pulls it in like a like a uh whirlpool and then it shoots it out like a bloop jet so i wonder if like sometimes it cr basically creates particles that kind of thing right there where it's at 
this point, although I've seen it also, like, at the, between the points, like, here, so I don't, I don't know, let's move on, let's just go through these real quick, it's interesting the way it's just kind of dotted with these dots, I've not seen it like this, it looks almost like stars, I've not seen one that just like noticeably was just kind of like it didn't have a lot going on. It's got this thing, it's got this thing, these things, but really it's just a lot of dots, bubbles maybe. Either bubbles or. Inward projections. Okay. It's interesting how this... Oh, let's look a little closer. This here goes down this way randomly. Like, if, if, presumably, if this, is a, if this is a fossil, this shell... First of all, it looks like a child drew it, like, a, not like a child drew it, but it's just not orderly, it's kind of random, like the, it's really not structured, like over here it looks more normal, like it would, like it would look kind of thing if it was a fossil in terms of like the regularity, this, this is not regular, but on top of this being not regular, not only is it not regular, but it has this like continuation of it down here that goes straight across some reason and then over through this region as well as at the other end this continuation of this way plus this little streak here which is kind of odd that it's like detectably there a lot because that happens a lot like at the side of the shallogram that's kind of like this it'll have a streak like that so that it has it but it doesn't have like the definition especially down here interesting maybe notable that it like this is where the definition is more towards the center of the rock where over here, it didn't have this kind of feature, like, popping out. I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing. I hadn't thought of that kind of potential before. Okay, so then I haven't looked at any of these. This is pretty good for showing those just lines across. It's certainly not the same as what's going on here. Whatever's going on here, cool. I wonder if it is. I mean, I don't see how anything living could possibly do this. Like, besides humans. But even that, like, like, I don't think, like, a coral or something, something of that nature that kind of grows is like a collection of the thing, like, it could reasonably have just a bunch of, like, parallel lines maybe like type of argument i could see that in science being put put forth to explain this maybe but from just a geological standpoint it really it probably is just formed this way as a rock and so it's certainly different than this but i think it might be like a mirror of it like this is more like carving in and this is more adding on where it's like a another thread around it of a, the molten material or whatever the material is that's like 
able to form in, in long threads at that specific condition but like just the right conditions for something like this to form i guess i don't i don't i mean it's incredible that's my best guess part of me if that doesn't actually make sense and people have better explanations and i'm like all right fine <laughs> It's got a lot of shallogram qualities, like even here. I must have some down here of the like beam ones. I forgot how many incredible, like this one. <laughs> So incredible. <laughs> there we go. It's kind of reminiscent of that. It's not... I'm not thinking it's the same, because I really think this is a current going this way. Or maybe this way, I guess it could be either. Pro I just assume it's like spreading out, I don't know. Okay. Huh. I would like to zoom in on this. <laughs> Let's just go to that. I was just wondering if it almost has like a spiral here. Like around like this point. I don't know, or if it's more just continuously across. It looks like there's something going on here. I don't know. Like this looks straight across. Like maybe it wraps around. It goes back under. I don't know. <laughs> Now I'm thinking like that type of process in a much subtler way, maybe, of this this being in some way involved in like the shaping of these, the forming of them before they're they undergo reshaping. I don't know. A crack. Just lots of cool detail. These little specks everywhere. This is little specks everywhere. An arc here. Arcs. Like if if I push, if I something sitting here and a pressure comes, it will put an arc in the direction the current flowed from. So it. If we kind of go follow this back this way, it generally comes over from here. So maybe there's some relationship of like a flow through the chakras generally to over here, maybe. I don't know. Bunch of specks down there. These specks that are scattered everywhere seem to be the same material, generally speaking, that is filling in this more like structured locations essentially that's 
interesting how well it rests on that side. It, se it seems like it's resting pretty... Like it's got a location to rest on both sides. I'm excited for these. They look, they all look cool. Okay. Let's maybe do this at least. I'm a little tired. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's see what's going on overall. Maybe go back a little. So these are going this way. Again, like I was saying, across there, like across it. So maybe that's just like standard. This seems to have maybe uh, some type of location where it wrapped around. I don't know. It's hard to say if that's the lighting. Okay, it looks like it's going down this way, over this way. It does look like it generally turns in a circle here, like a terminal. Cross here. But like, circle with a node here, a node here. Node here, node here, turning like this, and then a current that breaks off it, like a escape velocity goes this way. Maybe? I don't know, just guessing. So like here, this, this is a good one to depict something I feel is common, where if we just follow this line straight up, Maybe it's not quite to the same spot. A lot of times it'll point right to the very edge of where the, not to the chakra itself, but to the edge, but like directly perpendicular with the chakra and the edge here. So like that location, it's not quite. <clears throat> Get a rough, some measure. No, nah, not quite. <laughs> you guys couldn't see me measure it, but not quite. Um, again, lots of little specks on here, just throughout. this going on it's like a wave that's trapped and starts to also like it's going like a wave like wave i'm just spitballing here but it seems it's like making sense a little bit enough to be like oh but like it's rolled up so it's like this and then it's propagating and then it's creating like a dendritic wave structure because it's wave this way and a wave this way. Makes me think of electromagnetic waves. Like they're held within a container of the photon somehow, some kind of 
polygonal boundary that is subtle. That is the boundary of this wave that like ripples and creates positive and negative. Um, I don't know. Okay, that's that one. This one has so many details on it. Looks kind of like coral porous. A little more porous is when they're like this. The light makes it look way less porous. And there, it doesn't look as porous. Like, it looks porous here. Okay, so anyway. There's a chakra there. That's interesting. Get around. It's kind of not the best angle, maybe. It's just a bunch of little things. Going on, though, like a shock right here of some sort, maybe even a Shiva Linga. Shiva Lingam, like one of this, this kind of structure instead, something more of that nature going on, like embedded there. Lots of just cool shapes, nothing too specific coming to mind. Here we go, maybe this is good. Just, oof, there. We, like, this is pretty much just like the. This. Here we can see. It's like a negative of it though. Like here it only differentiated. Here it just removed it all. Maybe more heat. Something of that nature. That it, instead of just differentiating and the material staying there just like remove the material that's real interesting the way that formed it looks so incomplete and not actually like the process would have like it doesn't look like it formed something resembling a fossil I think it's there. Is it there? I mean, there's that. That's there. It's like right across. Okay, there's that. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it just looks like it was like punched. Like, but the material's still within there. This is interesting. This is a straight line. That these are the boundary of making... Similar type of wave or the crest. And then it just like it, it tends to happen, it conjoins, it goes like here to here, connects here to here, maybe a little disconnect, but it's also at the boundary, crosses over at this like distance, re rejoins here, goes through and to this boundary, and then it connects to this one, 
goes to what seems to be another boundary here. Like an edge where it just vents. Whatever's going on is just, just able to flow atop or not just carve into the rock the same. Very cool. It's incredible, really. Okay. Almost to uh, that last one in this list here. That looks even cooler than the rest. Part of me, all the rest. These look like sh this looks like a snail. That's cool how this chakra looks like it's kind of at the end of this, like it's an offshoot. Oh, that's so cool. Whoa, and then it's got these. And this. sinkhole that reminds me <laughs> I'll have to talk about that let's let's take a pause here sinkhole I was looking around Florida just looking around after the I don't know, after I live here in Florida and so if anything, if I find anything cool, it's all, it's local more so, which is good, I guess. <laughs> but I came across a couple interesting things. First, what brought me to this was, not, uh, to what I'm about to say, was a different lake that ended up leading me also to this lake, but apparently there's a bunch of skulls that have been pulled from Lake Okeechobee. And this lake, which is huge, it's huge. Like, there's this boundary here. It's very odd. There's this long stretch. I looked at it. a lot today like just kind of like what is going on it just makes me think of some kind of boundary though in essence where there's some energy flowing from this way and some energy from this way that met and created a boundary that physically is visible but maybe let's say that there's some bodies of humans being swept away in the great flood and they were the current brings them over here and maybe it puts them into some sort of huge body of water that forms like here i don't know why it would have concentrated people's bodies there but from what i understand these I couldn't I couldn't find anything. I looked on Google Scholar even. I looked around online for more information on like has anyone tried to date these these skulls? <laughs> and there wasn't anything that I could find. So if anyone knows when these skulls that are apparently in mass being like they were flow when when people first arrive there according to I think like the tribes in the area they said there were skulls of people f like skulls of human beings in the lake floating there anyway so that might be something going on where there's like 
human remains from the flood here. That kind of thing, for sure, seems like a potential in Florida, especially given the, the amount of current that was just flowing through here. It's probably acting like a big sponge, maybe. Like a, is a good, ex good description. It's some, like, porous material that filtered out larger systems and basically created land enough but also was gouged through where there's like caves and all sorts of things going on and it's almost maybe floating into a degree <laughs> i don't know before i go hypothesizing frightening things that i don't even want to think about i came across this and i was like it's like that's weird we we must have did that we must have right like, there's no way this is naturally this circular. And I Google it. I'm, that's what brought me to this. Kingsley Lake, Florida geology. That's when I've come, come to find out it is the oldest and, high, and highest lake in Florida. There it is. Just, like, you can see it from space, kind of, like, detectively spherical. Like, these are not quite spherical, so they're, they're maybe formed in the same process, although maybe they're more, this is more like the main one, and this, these are almost like, like, this is like a star, and these are the planets. I don't know. Like a planet with a moon. I don't know. But apparently this thing is, uh, my computer is like, dude, I guess I just crashed completely, I don't know. Let's just go back to shallow grounds and I'll finish up. I got so many tabs. Tabs on tabs on no part of me, computer. I love you. <laughs> We're in this together now. None of them can stop us now. Sorry, dudes. I know I can't. Don't. I know. Uh, this is so interesting. It's like sh protected from whatever is going on here. The coloration. This and this has like a gold hue to it throughout it but not like completely kind of mixed more not, not I'm, i've not seen that in the shallow grams i don't know if it's the color of the rock that makes it look that way like there's certainly gold in shallow grams color wise but it tends to be more patchy and less like uniformly distributed like this so there's that spot that maybe maybe is reminiscent of this. I don't know if this is like for a reason. Like obviously it's built by a man. And here's a lake that like goes like this. So it could just be the lake. Also I saw this. In this line, oh my god. Does this just have like a row, like here? That's man made, okay.
This one looks feasible. Let's just check in that shape out. Not sure what to make of it. I just let's see, let's look around though. Is there any distinct spiral thing going on? There's this like dendrite thing going on. I don't know what to make of that. Why it would be so like proximal? If this were to be in any way, I'm just uh, interpreting it through the potential that it's related to. this. Let's just move on. Oh, it's got these things. Whatever's going on there. Very parallel. These are kind of reminiscent of that stone. not like throughout so it's kind of weird so i want to say it's the same process because it's just a little patch here over there it's like continuous real interesting oh that's got like the that shape oh We go to shallograms that looks more like a battery, like this. It's got that. Makes me feel like this here is connected to another stone that has like the equal opposite that's like two terminals energetically interacting. Like it's a half. Of a shallogram, I don't know. This is, I'd like to see that more. It's very oddly positioned. It's over here. So this is a negative it looks like from this angle we can see that better so maybe this energetically like went out of the rock through maybe through here through an exit point here where it then spiraled outside of the rock this way I don't know. That doesn't really make sense, though. Unless they're, like, energetically connected. Like, it has an exit point, and it spirals back towards here. I don't know. Let's keep looking at these. Also, this at the boundary, like, probably creating a boundary so there's a current flowing and then off of it this is rotating maybe this is just rotating and causes a puncture to occur there I feel like it gets into the rock somehow that way and seals up enough to not be like completely visible and then like channels into it in ways like this maybe just spitball in there um
There's just so many cool features. Okay. Let's check out this last one, and then I'm gonna stop recording. At least. For the night. Again, lots of those lines. Again, with them not in line, as I've been uh, saying, they almost had to be, or not had to be, but they, like, tended to, sh strongly tended to be. Uh, so maybe, like, the shape of the rock here kind of moves it over here, although I would expect it, if anything, maybe to... Although, I guess the larger lobe would be over here but the like nucleus would be a more like balance point so maybe it's something more like that than specifically related although tending to be related is probably a thing That's interesting. So, subtle. But it goes from this shallogram structure here. Like, this doesn't make sense for erosion. It's too eroded and yet not eroded. Okay, there's only four of that one. That's all besides those ones. Let's check Etsy real quick. Let's give Etsy a, a gander. So now they're two tiered one. It's interesting how the bottom one's real big at the center. The top one's tiny. I wonder if that has some energetic basis. Okay, where is most recent? I've not seen this one at all. It looks like this one got reposted. Might have seen this one a long time ago, I guess. Nothing too different. From things I've seen before, pardon me if you find that. Like, well, <laughs> hold up, dude. That looks kind of interesting. Like, what is going on at the center? One of my shallograms is from them, or two of them. So I'm pretty sure it's real. This one looks, I was just thinking like it looks almost, of the ones that I've seen before, it looks almost out of a mold with all these little points in it, but I think it's like actually happening. That's what's crazy about shallograms is a lot of them like look fake, but they like, who could make them? This one more so could be made. But some of them are like, what in the... The, base, the ones that are more basic like this could be made. This one, though, already is adding like nuances to it that start to become pretty complex. Where to, like, even... It almost needs a mold and all sorts of things. I don't know. It just it seems like it would be f 
too fake looking. It's like, what is going on here? It's like crystalline in there. Wow. Really see those lines across them here. Lines, lines. Whoa, right there. That like. It's coming off of the shallogram feature here, but it's like smearing. <laughs> Fossils don't smear, dudes. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Like their shape, it, don't be, why is it smeared? Wow, this one's covered in those little things. That little circle right there, it's very circular. And missing. Hmm. It's almost like there's a layer. That's reaching around this whole section and not actually atop it yet. Those lawns. So much nuance in the lines. Oh my god. That's not the same one. Yeah, that's right. It started with that one. I just got lost in the pictures, I guess. More than one. <laughs> Okay, see y'all in the next one. It was a pleasure.